Well, good morning, and a good one it is. After doing three and a half thousand miles on this little beautiful bumblebee, um, I've not ridden her for three weeks. And in fact, I haven't been anywhere for four days. So she's gonna get me out. She gave me a new sense of freedom and life. And today she's making me get out on the road again. And I'm actually looking forward to it. She is my motivation. She really, really is. <sighs> I've got a big smile on my face. So yesterday it was that hot. I sorted all my decking out, got the paddling pool out and it's been hot all week. I've been in all week and now I'm going to ride and of course it's pissing down. You always used to think this is a man in a bathtub. I'm like, why have they got a man in a bathtub? But obviously it's a boat. And inscribed around the edge of it, it says, dreams of a beautiful woman who carried me away. And I'm wondering if this, oh no, I think it's been planted. I think it's been made and planted. I don't think it's naturally growing here. But it's pretty cool anyway. So far, so good rain-wise, but I'm not taking this off because we know what happens when I do. I just quick stop at the beach to um, pick up some medication because I'm in a bit of a flare and my diclofenac and codeine are out of date um so i'm returning the unused ones please 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 don't flush it down your sink into the system please away just it's free return your unused meds to boots and if you don't do anything else today perhaps just have a little look through your medicine cupboard and just check all the used by dates because i guarantee you'll find at least something that's out of date um something that we do all the time as nurses but not very good at doing it at home i've been taking these tablets and then i thought i better just check the date and they go out of date because i don't take pain relief too much i don't like the codeine diclofenac i don't like the side effects i can only take small amounts of medication because of the side effects so um so if yeah if there's something you haven't taken for a while go check the date on it and bin it at your usual pharmacy not in your bin not down the sink and um get a new stock if you need this man just suddenly appeared in the middle of this field a couple of years ago and they bought him from somewhere else and uh, it's a privately owned house what a big one um, it's just a bit weird when we were driving past one day it's like what's that man doing there so the people i've just visited told me all about friday street farm which is really lovely they've got a real box of goodies nice fresh fresh veg I don't know if it's organic or not but I've got a nice little box look which hopefully hopefully that's gonna tip fit in the top box oh, I'm back that was a nice ride actually a bit stressy on the way back because I've <laughs> not unsurprisingly just can't find my armoured case anywhere so um, if that's a journey that I've been along many times before still got a bit lost I had to keep stopping and taking my phone out my pocket to see where I was going um which you know as Dan always says it's fun getting lost it's part of the fun but when you're tired and when you're hurting and you're achy and you're boiling hot because it really is hot you just want to get home you know but perhaps I should have pulled up to one side and just enjoyed the moment you know, it's been a nice trip out. When I stopped coming out of the farm shop, I was talking to a chap for ages about the Riker and about Canams. His wife rides pillion, but hasn't wanted to do that for a while. So I said, well, you know what I'm like? I think everyone should at least test ride a Canam Riker once in their life. It is the best. So hopefully I've convinced him to um, have a little chat to her about riding the Riker because he can ride them two still and she can ride them three. Anyway, I gave him the card for 158 performance to speak to Dan or Giles over there and um, get a little bit more info. But we are also going to be at the Cop Doc Bike Show. So hopefully I will see you there if you're watching um, on September. So Sunday week, September the 3rd, 2023 at Cop Doc Showground. There'll be, there's always a big row of us Can-Ams. So there'll be 
Rikers, Riker 600s, Riker 900, Riker rallies, F3s and spiders to come along and say hello and of course I'll be there as will little bumblebee. Um, I might have a little passenger seat on her by then, I'm not sure. I might bring the top box because I'm going to go travelling down to Essex for a week after but we shall see what will be will be. Anyway, I got a very nice little award where I went. I got the bumblebee award for my recent journey. It was really nice and I've got a little bumblebee. Anyway, I'm happy to be home now. I just need to quickly sort the garage out um, and get bumblebee in bed for the night and then I'm gonna have a little afternoon nap, I think. But it's been fun, it's been fun to dust her off, get her out and have my Relief back on as well. So I've not used Relief for three weeks. Now you can use it for everything. It doesn't just have to be for motorbike riding, but you'll see the Relief video afterwards, as long as I've done it right. But because most of the time, even I can use it. So it's not that complicated, but you can use it for walking, horse riding, cycling, um, can amming. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do, running, um, camper vanning, whatever, it just plans routes and you can share routes and it's all good fun. And of course you get to add little photos and a diddly little tune to it too. So let's see what I'll pick today. Hmm, I wonder which one it will be.